Um, what is clear in climate change is there are lots of uncertainties about, about, out there. That doesn't mean to say we don't know what to do in terms of acting. Yes, we do. So it doesn't stop us from doing things in terms of policy and reducing our emissions. But we also have to be aware that there is a risk that the climate may respond in a, at a much more, more, much more rapid and severe rate than we thought, than, than, than our average view is. So there's, you know, the science is out there saying we could be seeing with a doubling of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, what's called climate sensitivity. We might see four and a half or five degrees centigrade of warming. Now, if we see that, that could be, as you're talking about, apocalyptic in so many respects to be occurring quite rapidly. Now, let's, let's hope it's not there. Let's do everything we can to keep our emissions down. And let's hope that our climate sensitivity is at the other end, where we'll only see a, you know, a rise of, say, two degrees centigrade. But there's a, there's a, there's a serious scientific risk that is legitimate scientifically, that we, that we could be seeing much more rapid climate change. And therefore, it is appropriate for people to think those things through. Science lends legitimacy to those arguments and those discussions. And it is wiser to think those things through than to, than, than to suddenly occur. Let's hope they think them through and we never get there. But if we do end up in that situation, let's hope we've thought it through in advance as to what can we do to minimise the amount of harm we do to ourselves and other species.